another video. Um, it is the same day, honey, but welcome back. I decided to go and get something to eat. I had the worst headache in the world. So, um, again, we are on this healthy journey, right? So I got a salad, a taco salad from Taco Cabana. So I'm gonna eat that and Cut this air down. It is gorgeous outside, y'all. It is gorgeous out here. If y'all haven't been out, I hope y'all get a chance to get out. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's not cold. The temperature is 74 degrees. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's like, you know that weather that's just right? That's how it is. But I'm going to show y'all my taco salad here. Of course, my alcohol wipes. As usual, I keep these in my purse and in the car. When I am on the go. So... Oh, this looks good. I should have told them no cheese. Can y'all see that? That looks so good. All right. We're going to say our grace and we are going to eat, honey. Lord, we thank you for this food. We ask that you bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. I'm going to dig in. What are y'all having for lunch? Or should I say almost dinner? I'll let y'all see. Y'all see that? And this thing won't go up any further. Unfortunately. That's what it looks like. It looks like they have lettuce, tomatoes, chicken, cheese, a little bit of sour cream. Um, is it rice in here? I didn't want no rice. Oh no. <laughs> Remember, y'all, we're on the challenge. No rice, no pasta, no bread. Well, y'all see how it's going already. Day two, March the 2nd. Lord help us all. So, I mean, the difference is when you cook at home, you know what, you, what you're eating, right? I didn't even realize they put rice in here. Oh, well, I'll take it out as much as I can. Because obviously rice has is small kernels in there. See? Day two. How y'all day two going? This is how mine going. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, y'all. I need help. And the thing about it is, it's nobody forcing me to put this food in my mouth. Or, hey, you need to eat that. I don't know if y'all had a chance to see when I went in Sam's why well, even the price of the water has gone up that 48 pack or 40 pack of water used to be like two dollars and something or three something it's five dollars now Everything is going up. 
even the honey. That organic honey went up. Everything is so high now. They have the best uh, pico de gallo. It's so funny, people be <laughs> pulling up on the side of me. Like, what is she in that doing? Who is she in that talking to? I have talking to my family, honey. So my trainer, she has incorporated me sending text messages and pictures of my meals. I'm not going to be able to do it. Because I'm not supposed to have no dairy, sour cream, no rice rice no bread bread <laughs> everything I'm not supposed to have <laughs> I guess when you tell them you want a salad you tell them no rice, no, no shell. Well, I knew I wanted the shell, but I didn't need the rice.
and I didn't eat the sour cream. Those were two things I could have lived without. Pico de Gallo. Did you just give me one? Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna finish eating. And No gym today, but we are working on turning our garage into a home gym. Um, but we are working on transforming it to a home gym. So that's actually what I did today. Went and found a storage because some stuff is gonna have to go in storage. Some stuff is gonna have to go in storage. So. I actually found two places. The first place had a pretty nice size unit. It is climate control, which is a which is what I absolutely need. So the summertime is coming up, the summer months are coming up. So um really didn't want to go in and out of a facility that didn't have air condition. So that's very important. Um the unit is a nice size, like I mentioned. So we should, we should be able to get some stuff in there. Mm. I also oh, yeah. need a, somewhere to store my yard signs. Because right now, and I'm going to show you all too. Right now, my dining room area houses all of my inventory. So... And as the company is growing, that means more and more inventory. So I'm literally running out of space. So I need a storage unit for that. So I'm probably about 95% sure of the one particular storage that I did find. Reasonable price. You have access to the facility. It's a gated facility. You have to have an access code to get in and out. So which is a plus. Um, not too far. So it's in a good location, which is very important. That's another plus. So I think I'm gonna go with them. Like I mentioned, I'm about 95% sure. There's a couple of other places I wanna try first just to kind of get some quotes as far as prices. And we'll go from there but I did find another location that's about maybe five or ten miles further out but they were higher their price was higher so were they high yeah they were higher no they were higher but they were running a special or something but again, they're about five or 10 more miles further out. So you have to really think about it. Weigh in the options as far as how long is it gonna to take to get there to access the inventory. 
all of that. But I pretty much have an idea of what I want to put in storage. And then I mean, and y'all tell me in the comments if I'm if I'm right or wrong. But it seems like you accumulate so much stuff over the years like we have so much and it's just really stuff it's so much stuff the garage has already a lot of workout equipment but in addition to the workout equipment we also have some of the to uh, kids toys in there when from when they were younger and bikes from when they were younger and skateboards and i, I saw joshua's old hoverboard in there and it's just so much stuff and it's just sitting in there like why it's just taking up space so for one we do need to do a purge that's one that's the first thing before we store anything we need to purge and if we didn't use the stuff within the last year you really don't need it and that's another method i even try to do with the clothes that i wear shoes that i wear if i haven't worn if it's in my closet I haven't worn in a year. It's time to go. Because somebody else can be using it. The Goodwill Purple Heart, which are places I really don't even support anymore, but because once I found out the CEO of Goodwill was making so many millions of dollars, I said, yeah, we got it all wrong. We got it twisted. <laughs> Did y'all know that? For the people in the back. <laughs> Just pull it up. If y'all think I'm playing. The CEO of Goodwill. Now I'm not knocking nobody. Mr. Goodwill. If you making all your millions like that, more power to you because he has figured out a way to obtain financial freedom. So somebody else's junk, he has profited off of and became a millionaire. Now y'all let that, y'all think about that for a minute. The stuff that you and I throw away that we don't want no more. This man or this company has figured out a way to become rich off of it. And why y'all still broke? I don't know. And that's for the that's for the people in the back. <laughs> but seriously, think about that for a second. So when you throw your stuff, you call them on the telephone. Because I know we do it. Well, we used to. <clears throat> my mom has done it. My sister's. You call them Purple Heart too. Set a date, they come and pick up your stuff and they go and sell it. Genius. That's all I can tell you. Genius. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all. I'm going to finish eating this taco salad with this rice in there, which I'm not supposed to have. I had picked out some of it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you all for watching. If you have not subscribed, subscribe if you like. Join the family. Hit the notification bell. So let, that way you will be notified whenever I drop these videos up. We are going all the way up. Continue pushing. Continue going. Working towards your goals. Working toward where you want to be. This is 2022. What you going to do? 2022, what you going to do? So until the next video, I will see you all. We're going all the way up, honey. <laughs>